you guys doing? My name is Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home or wherever you're at. And today, I'm going to show you how to be your own brand by customizing this shirt right here and these shorts. So stay tuned right after the intro. <laughs> time ago I decided to get rid of all of my t-shirts that did not belong to myself someone I knew someone that had taught me something someone that had supported me or someone that I support on a mission or you know now for one of you guys so what I do is I purchase blanks uh, and I'm just gonna show you what I do to customize some stuff uh, today we have a set of track shorts with the polo shirt to match I had to think long and hard about how I was gonna do this because I did not want to uh, actually just print the black on here and then the shorts were black so I couldn't print white on here or something like that so I had to get creative and usually I don't do this anymore uh, because it takes a lot of time but we're gonna take these track shirts and we're gonna run our logo down the stripe a lot of you guys have seen me do this in the past but if you haven't I'm gonna show you exactly how I get this done uh, today I'm gonna use, be using plastic saw transfers you guys can Use vinyl if you have a vinyl cutter. You don't have to use plastic art transfers, but I did just get these little logos printed and some extra space on some gang sheets that I had. Uh, so I will show you exactly what I did. And basically the first thing I did was I cut around so I can position these better. It's going to be by eye. It's not going to be exact, but I just wanted to make sure I was able to position these bad boys better. I'm thinking I'm going to put five on each leg. So I cut 10 of them. So now I have a shape cut out where I can actually place it better. Okay, uh, and lastly, the polo, like I said, it's going to get a big logo here, uh, and then we're going to, this will be a set. This is something that I will be able to wear on vacation in the future, which was my plan when I got it, uh, and yeah, so the very, very first thing I got to do is I need to get a pillow for us to use because we're going to be pressing over some seams. Uh, and I'll show you exactly what I mean, but these buttons here will not allow us to get even pressure when we press up our, our transfer. So we're going to get a pillow, and the same thing with the shirts, we need a pillow for that as well. So I'll be right back with my pillow, and then we'll get started pressing. Okay, so pillows come in a bunch of different sizes. This one is key if you're going to be pressing down sleeves or pant legs, trying to run some logo tapes, different things like this. This will make a life a lot easier. However, you can just purchase one and fold it over and different things like that, but Having a multiple size, I think most sets come about five different sizes, will work great. So we're gonna do the easy part first. We're gonna press up the left chest and we're gonna use this pillow. So just gonna lay this pillow down on my press here. All right, and I'm actually gonna button this bad boy up because it's unbuttoned. And if you wanna know where to get blanks and stuff like this, uh, I ordered this off of AliExpress. I really don't like AliExpress. They take forever. So if you're trying to do something for a clothing line and, you know, order by the piece and stuff like that, you need to order in advance. It takes months, sometimes a month, if not longer, to get your stuff. Uh, and basically, it's direct from China, so it takes a while to ship. But I think it was rather cheap. But you can go into uh, local stores like uh, Forever 21, H&M, and, and some other places and just find blank stuff that you like and potentially make it your own brand, okay? So... The very, very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to position this bad boy onto the press. Try to make sure it's flat, centered, and even and easy. Okay. All right. And I'm going to figure out where exactly that I'm going to uh, place my graphic once I'm sure that it's lined up. Feels a little odd here. Okay. Now that looks great. All right. So I could use the buttons, but I'm not exactly sure how they fit because I haven't put the shirt on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just go with the same method, four fingers or three inches from the collars where I want to be. So I'm here. 
And then we're going to take our image. We're going to make sure I can read it right. And we're going to place it on the left chest here. Okay, with the top somewhere around that point. And just maybe a half inch from the actual button there. And then we're going to be pressing that 320 degrees for 12 seconds with this. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm looking good when I step back. And that should be pretty much right where I want to be. And then we're going to press it up. Oh, I need to loosen. When you add your pillow, you definitely need to loosen up your pressure uh, because you have to give it some time, some space to give. So let's loosen this bad boy up. Okay. See if we can close it. All right. We're going to press it for 12 seconds. That was about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what happened was when I was setting the pressure, it already magically moved itself. Ooh, can't grab it. Okay. So here we have our polo shirt. With our gourmet logo. I'm going to throw this on as soon as I'm done this whole video. Uh, so you guys can get a better look. Now we're going to pop up our shorts. Alright, now this is going to be a tricky part. And I'm just going to do it by eye. I'm being super lazy. There are other things that I could do. Uh, in order to uh, make sure this is a little bit more consistent. Uh, but I, I'm just going to get it done. There for me, I'm not trying to be super perfect. I could get some tape and a ruler. And uh, try to make sure everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. But because it's for myself, you know, I have to wear it, live with it. So we're just going to rock with it from here. Okay. The one thing I will say is you want to make sure that the top of your design is always going down. Uh, and it reads down. So it's going to read down on both sides. So just going to go ahead and place them. And then we will see... From there, how well we do. Okay. Like an inch in between them. Oh, there you go. And here's the issue that we're going to have. When you're doing some of these logo tapes and things like that, it's not always 100% consistent uh, as far as the stripe goes with where it's positioned. So it's going to be a little bit tough on us. But that looks good. I'm not going to add the fifth one, at least not yet. Um, I think that looks good. And we're just going to press it. We'll see, man. Trial and error. Uh, and this is like one of the hardest cases. So if you watch me do this and you try to do something like this, it only gets easier from here. Hopefully we got no mistakes. Boom. Whew. Boom. 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 And I think that looks pretty, pretty good. All right? I could add maybe one more up top. Let's just do that. I just want to reposition it. I did plan on putting five. So let's see exactly where that would go. About right here. Let's say that looks pretty good. Definitely looks pretty good. What do you guys think right there? All right, gonna flip the other leg. Now here's the tricky part, okay? And the reason that this gets tricky is because you want them to kind of match up. So what I would do in that case is I would like kind of fold it over so that I can see both of them next to each other and just try to position them uh, so that they actually match and line up. Okay, 
So we need to get our five good ones here. Go right there. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, so now this one looks pretty good as well. So we got our logo tape shorts here. Using plastic transfers, or you can cut this out of vinyl. And we also have our polo. And that's it. So now I have a full outfit that I can wear out and rock with and be my own brand. A key to having a brand and brand being successful, it starts with you. If I look at your page and you're not rocking your own stuff, that means you don't feel comfortable in it. So then why would I wear it if I'm a consumer, if I don't see anybody wearing it? And I really, really firmly believe in showing people things the way you want them to be seen and worn and all of that good stuff. You know, I think this piece all together cost me about 20 bucks shipped. And this is an outfit that you can sell for 60 or 70 bucks, 75 bucks easy uh, all summer long. So this is something that you guys can do right at home with your heat press. And this is why I love heat press and vinyl and all of this stuff so much because you can customize anything at your own discretion. You don't have to wait for a screen printer or order a thousand of them. You can just make yourself stuff all the time and be your own brain all the time. And when people see you say, hey, can I get that? Then you go ahead and you maybe place another order. If I, if you can get a, something more consistently than where you can get it from AliExpress, but like if you can walk H and M and say, "Hey, I rock this," you wear it, and people want it, go walk back into the store, get that tag out of there, press up the same thing, and then sell it to them. You know, make sure the size is available, wherever the case is, and go about it like that. But this is just like a quick video showing you guys how I customize apparel for myself to wear. And I'm, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take some pictures in it and I'll post them. All right, it's me, your boy Stan Bench with T-shirt side hustle. Peace. <laughs>